Okay, we're uh, carrying on with uh, risk assessment, analysis, and management. And, uh, well, I guess we might as well go through the terms, although I do strongly recommend that diagram out of part one of the common criteria. Uh, and uh, as I say, you know, the important thing is the interrelationships uh, between these terms. Um, that's where you really start to understand what they are. But uh, let's begin, as I say, with the asset. Always, always begin with the asset. Um, we, we tend to think in terms of risks and threats and vulnerabilities and uh, exploits, all, all of those things on the, the negative side. And uh, really, we need to start with the asset. You know, what is it that we are protecting? Uh, uh, what is the value of the asset, as we talked about it in information classification? Uh, what is it that uh, we are protecting? Um, how important is that to us? Uh, what type of protection does it need? in terms of its importance to us you know uh, why why it is important to us um, is going to direct us in terms of what type of protection we are going to place on it and uh, just to uh, uh, ground this in reality uh, let's talk about our health and the threat here is uh, COVID so what is the threat agent? Well, the SARS-CoV-2 virus and, and its uh, various variants. Um, so the threat agent is, is the virus. The threat is uh, disease, um, a, a disease. And, and that can result in you know, a, a number of losses to us, loss of life, loss of health, on a long-term basis, sometimes like long COVID, uh, hospitalization, the costs associated with that. So, you know, a variety of resultant threats out of the main threat, which is our loss of health. Uh, so, um, what is uh, the vulnerability then in terms of uh, this situation and, and the vulnerability is um, say hygiene uh, good uh, preventative hygiene um, infection control in all its varieties so for example an exploit of that vulnerability if we do not have uh, good infection control is uh, fomite transmission for example if we do not wash our hands uh, frequently and thoroughly and properly um, and uh, associated uh, exploits of you know touching your face and, and various things like that but uh, you know so you can see you know the asset health the threat disease the threat agent virus vulnerability poor hygiene uh, exploit exploit fomite transmission and, and therefore the increased risk of contracting the virus and the disease. Um, uh, so we have, we have countermeasures, we have controls, we have safeguards. Um, one of the countermeasures is, as mentioned, hand washing. Uh, another safeguard is uh, possibly wearing masks uh, to uh, protect against aerial transmission, droplet transmission. Um, uh, various types of controls, uh, possibly social controls, such as the mandates uh, to uh, restrict gatherings, uh, to mandate mask wearing in gatherings, uh, those sorts of things. So those are our um, controls safeguards, countermeasures, uh, in, in terms of protecting our asset, our health, against the exploits, uh, droplet transmission, fomite transmission, in case 
we do not practice good hygiene and infection control. So we've got, um, you know, a, uh, you know, that's, you know, that deals with our threats. As I said before, in, um, in terms of uh, risk management, in this particular case, it's, it's not a binary situation, and it, it uh, illustrates the probability aspect in terms of the threats. And, of course, that's very real in terms of our information security, protection, uh, and risks and, and threats that um, you are not, uh, you know, if you choose a bad password, your account is not necessarily immediately going to be compromised. No, um, you know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. It depends on if somebody attacks you. It depends on if they target your particular account when they are doing that. But, of course, your risk of having your account hacked, of losing your account, of, of losing um, the, the tools that you need to support your job in, in the company is greater if you have a weak password, uh, password which can be exploited, creating a vulnerability. Um, and in that case, of course, the, the threat is somebody obtaining access to the account and uh, to your information at the very least, and generally speaking, the company information and the company resources as well. And the uh, controls, countermeasures, uh, well, the controls are, shall we say, uh, the suggestion that you choose a strong password. And a countermeasure, a technical countermeasure, a safeguard, in this case may be uh, that when you choose a password, when you go to set a password, uh, there is a tool uh, associated with the password change program that will um, assess the strength of your password and, and whether or not it's likely to be guessed. So...